In this video, I'm gonna show you how to watch your IP camera on TV. In this case, I'm using the Axis camera and I'm going to stream directly to Fire TV using a software, a free software, okay? So here I have the camera via web browser, Axis camera. Here's the camera's IP address. And I need this information, the camera IP address and also username and password. So it's pretty simple. Then you come here to your Fire TV and you need to use this software. It's the IP camera viewer. It's a free software I already have it here. If you need to install the software, it's pretty simple. You just need to find the software here. So you look for this icon to find stuff, right? And then you just type here IP space cam, cam viewer. Here you go, already there. IP cam viewer free, right? That's the one you just come here, click and install it, right? Pretty simple. Then come back here to the main screen. Let's go to the applications and launch the software. So it's the free software. And then you come here to manage your camera. There is no camera yet. You just come to this plus sign on here and add a new camera. In this case, I'm gonna add IP camera, DVR and NVR. That's the type you're gonna to select here. I need to insert all the information about the camera, okay? So basically here I have the camera name, a camera make, model, the IP, port, username and password, okay? So here I can change the name if I want to because something more specific to the camera that I'm using. In this case, let me just type here, axis. You can type the model if you want to. The next, here the model, IP address I already have here, username and password. Okay, you have all the information here already. And then you just click test. And you get the information that you successfully retrieve image from the camera. And here you go, you have the image on the camera there and just hit save. Now you have your camera ready to work. Just select the camera here. You come to home screen again. And here you go. The camera is working on your TV using the free software. And I'm just moving my hand in front of the camera so you can see it's working, right? And pretty simple, okay? There, there are different ways also to add cameras on the TV using different methods, but this one can work like for most of the cameras, okay? That's all for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. See you in the next video.